Now we all know how useful adjustment clips and power bins can be, but unfortunately in DaVinci Resolve at the minute you can't actually combine them, so you can't use power bins to share your adjustment clips between projects. But fortunately there is another way. Now it's a bit of a hack, but it does work and hopefully it's going to save you some time. So let's get straight to it, shall we? So open DaVinci Resolve until you get to this screen. Now what we need to do is to create a new project the same as you usually would. So we're just going to click on new project down here. Now you can call it what you like, but what I like to do is just to put one and a full stop at the end. So then if you order all of your projects in alphabetical order, this one will always appear first. So you always know where it is. It's nice and easy to find. And then I'm just going to call it templates and we're going to hit create. And then that project will open. Now I always recommend opening up your project settings and making sure that your timeline frame rate is correct. So nearly all of my videos, the project is set to 24 frames per second. So I want all of these little templates also to be set to 24 frames per second. So the first thing I like to do, and I'm just gonna import a temporary piece of media. So I'm gonna import this video here. It's not relevant to this project at all. It just gives me something to look at when I'm creating my little templates. So I'm just going to drag this down here and add it to my timeline. And now we're ready to go. Now, one of the things I do a lot, if you look at this clip here, it's a little bit bland because of the way that I shoot these videos. So I always have to do a bit of color grading and add a LUT. So we're going to create a little template to do that for us. So I'm going to open up the effects library. We're going to go down into the toolbox, down to effects, and we're going to grab an adjustment clip. And drag that onto the timeline, like so. Now I'm going to give it a click and head into the color tab. Now I'm just gonna make sure that my adjustment clip is selected. I'm gonna open up my LUTs. I'm gonna scroll down to my favorites. And here it is, it's already there, teal and orange. And I'm just gonna double click to apply it to that adjustment clip. So now I'm gonna go back to the edit tab. And there we go. We've got the adjustment clip with that color grading applied. And then the next thing we need to do is just name this clip. So I'm just gonna highlight it on the timeline. I'm going to head up to the top right and open the inspector. And then in effect here, you've got name. I'm going to give it a name. So it's just going to be orange, teal, blurt. And you can see the name will change on the timeline. So that's ready to go. So now all we need to do is click it, hold the mouse, and then drag over into your media pool and release it in there. So now we've got that adjustment clip in the media pool, and I can just drop it and add it to the timeline wherever I need it and we can start working on the next one. Now you can do this with basically anything, any adjustments within the inspector, dead easy to do. You can also do this with effects. Another good use of this, titles. So once you're done, once you've created all of your templates, what I like to do is delete everything off my timeline because you don't actually need those. Delete the timeline itself, because again, we don't need that. And then delete that temporary media you added purely to set up these templates. Now I'm just going to save this project and I'm going to reopen DaVinci Resolve like I was opening a fresh and wanting to start something new. So here we go. Now as you can see I've got one dot template is at the top left of my list because mine is in alphabetical order. If yours isn't all you need to do is click on this little icon here and make sure it's ordered by name. And then if you're starting a new project rather than just going down here and clicking on new project like you usually would if you just double click to open up the templates, you'll be taken to the templates project. Open up the media pool, you should see all of the little templates that you've created. We're gonna highlight them just by clicking anywhere in the media pool, holding my mouse, I can drag to put a box around everything that I want, so it's highlighted in red. Then I'm gonna hit Control and C on the keyboard. And now if I want to copy these to a brand new project, I can just go to File, a new project, if I want to copy them to an existing project, I can just click on Project Manager and then open up the other project. This time I'm going to go New Project. I'm going to be lazy, leave that as it is and hit Create. And here we are in this new project. Now the first thing you need to do, head to your media pool, give it a click just so you're in the media pool here, and then simply hit Control and V to paste. And you'll paste all of those titles or adjustment clips, whatever you've created in that template file, paste them directly into this new project and then they're there, ready to go. So if I just drop this lower third onto my timeline, there it is. Quick cut zoom, I'm gonna pop that on there, cinematic crop, that's there, ready to go. 
and my origin teal. You can do this for as many things as you like for a whole bunch of different things and it'll just save you time. It'll make life that little bit easier every time you come to create a new project. And that's it folks, hopefully it was useful. If it was, thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Comment down below if you've got any comments or feedback. Thank you for watching, I'll see you next time. Bye.